Hello again. I'd like to talk about um, auto layout and um, setting the width to equal values for views. In the uh, the previous example, I created a, um, a layout here that uses auto layout and it has two views, well, a view and a button. And the gray view, you know, was set to expand to kind of fill the container, right? It sticks to the top and the edges. And then the distance here between the button and the, the view is fixed. So when we rotate the view, the, you know, the, the size of the gray box changes so that it's always, you know, the, the height to reach down here and meet this button at the top edge, right? So that works pretty good. Um, and that works great for a, you know, a single view in here. But what if you had two elements and you wanted them to sit side by side? And so when you rotated, you want them, you wanted them to fill the, the area here. So um, let's, let's give that a try. So the first thing I'm going to do is, since I'm starting with this example, um, I'm going to delete the, um, the constraints there so we don't have any constraints anymore, right? And you could start from scratch again to it with a brand new, you know, um, lay with a brand new view here and then just drag some new objects in. Um, so now you can see over on this side when I rotate the view, um, there's no layout. So, you know, this box over here is still the same size. It extends down off the bottom of the screen and the button is somewhere down here. So uh, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to select the gray view and change the size, make it about, you know, about this big. And I'm going to close the, um, the, uh, the assistant editor and open up the sidebar here. And what I want to do is I'm going to grab another view. So here's another UI view here, and I'll, I'll drag that into my view. And we can have one view inside another, right? And then I'll give this view a color so we can keep track of it. So I'll make this one a light gray. And maybe maybe I'll, I'll move these down a little bit so they're below the status bar here. And I'll resize them a little bit there. And there we go. So there's my two views. They're side by side. And what I'd like to do is I'd like these to, um, to always have the same height but always stick to the left and right edge and always keep this distance between the two. Okay, so that means that when we get into the, um, to the, um, the landscape view, then they're going to need to stretch to fill the area here. Okay, because this one will have to stick to this edge and then they'll have to stretch to keep this distance between them. Okay, so let's get started. So the uh, first thing I'll do is I'll start with the dark gray view. And I'll go to the pin menu. And what I want to do is I want to pin the top edge to a constant distance from the top. And this says eight pixels, but I think it's really just eight pixels to the top of the margin that's set. And you can't see it, but there's an invisible guide there that is the, the top layout guide, right? Um, and I'm going to pin the, uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click on the little bar here so you can see that turns red. And then I'm going to click the bar here on the left side and pin the left edge to the, the left margin, okay? It says negative 16 because there's a 16 pixel margin that comes in and, and we're gonna stick all the way to the edge. So, you know, it goes 16 pixels past that, okay? And like I said, I wanted to keep a constant height. I don't want the height to change. So um, I'm gonna check the box here for height and I'll add the three constraints. Okay, and auto layout shows an orange and a red outline there and a little orange kind of bar there. And it's kind of telling me that, you know, this is not enough information to lay out this view. And that's okay for now. We'll, we'll, we'll fix it in a moment, right? And then up here, you can see there's, a, there's an auto layout warning telling me that, uh, that this is not complete, okay? So let's, we're going to complete that in a second. So let me go to the other view now, the light gray view. And I'll follow the same procedure. I'll click on the, the pin menu here. And what I want to do is I want to pin the top edge again, because I want a constant distance here. And then I'll pin the right edge, because I want the right edge to stick to the right edge of the view. And again, um, I want the height to be fixed, so I'll check the height box. 
and then I'll add three constraints. And so now, you know, both of these views are incomplete. And if I click on this, you can see it's giving me two warnings here, the first one for that view and the second one for the other view. And then there's a couple other warnings there. So, so how do we fix these? Um, so the first thing I want to do is I want these guys to be flexible in their height, right? I mean, in their width, but, um, but I want the width to change because, you know, when we're in landscape view here, they're going to have to be wider. And when we're in portrait, they're going to have to be narrower, right? So in order for them to, um, to change their width, we kind of have to define like how the widths are going to be calculated, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a new feature here that we haven't talked about yet. And it's called equal width. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the control key and drag from the gray view to the gray view, right? From one view to the other. And on the menu here, I'm going to choose equal widths. Okay. So that says that these two have to have an equal width. Okay. They have to be the same value. And what I want to do is for the second view, the light gray view, I want that one to have an equal width with the with the dark one. Because right now the dark one has an equal width, right? Okay. Um, and, uh, and then I also want to set the spacing between them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag from the, the dark gray one to the light gray one again and choose horizontal spacing. Okay. And... Uh, I, did that take there? Let me do that again. I think I missed the menu. Yeah, there we go. Now I see the equal spacing there. So now um, you can see on the menu here, or I mean in the preview, that I have um, that I have these two boxes and they have the spacing there. Now auto layout kind of almost has enough information to lay it out, and it's kind of oh actually it's kind of working there. It's still giving me this this orange bar there and there's sort of a warning here it's not an error but it's a warning so what's that about well when I drag the boxes here I um, I just drag them out there to an arbitrary size and they're almost equal but you know they're probably not exactly to the pixel you know the same you know width right so so what I want to do is, you know, to get to, to kind of get rid of this warning here is I want auto layout to or Xcode to rearrange the boxes on the screen the way I see them here so they have an equal width. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the two boxes here and I'll go to the um, to the menu here that's resolve auto layout issues and I'll choose update frames. So what I'm saying is I'm saying I'd like to update the frames here. That's the outline, the box here, right? And make them, you know, match up with what they should be from what the constraints are telling the computer, okay? So I'll choose that. And you can see the, the, the widths shift a little bit. And now all the errors are gone or the warnings are gone. And everything is kind of blue there and because now the widths are equal, Okay, and anyway, so there's my layout there, and you can see when I rotate this, the um, the the widths here are, you know, they kind of stretch to fill, um, even when I'm in the the landscape mode versus the um, the portrait mode. Okay, so that's equal width.